Hey YouTube, Shukran Shobi here with a review of the Juden Sentai Kyoryuja DX Kametsuki Gatai Kyoryujin. So the snap together combination Kyoryujin. He's all DX and stuff because he's awesome. Um, so here's the deal. The um, He's huge. My review station's small. So we're going to have some weird angles going on. On top of that, this guy reads um, pretty much every Judenshi ever. Meaning, we've got a lot of sounds at our disposal. So how I'm working this is at the beginning of the review is going to be a review strictly on the toy. Um, the three Judenshi that come with it, the three Judenryu, and that's it. Um, afterwards, once the review is all wrapped up, said and done, we will take a look at all the sounds available. So if you want to stick around for the sounds, feel free. If not, take care and have a great one and all that fun stuff. So, let's get on with this and take a quick look at the packaging, a la Zeren Zephyr style. So we have the front of the package uh, right here showing off all the dinosaurs and stuff. Then we have the top and the bottom and the left and the right showing off uh, all the little pictures and fun stuff. Very cool pictures. And then the back showing off how everything works and all that fun stuff. So, hooray for packages. Alright, now that that's out of the way, um, we'll just go ahead and uh, start up here with uh, Gabutira. He's very, very large. Um, he features some movement in the legs. Um, they're not easy to move because they have this little like pin and little socket system going on to where it locks in place so he doesn't like flail around. But he is movable there. His little arms are movable, mostly for transformation. And then his head can tilt this way, again for the robot mode, I uh, cannot tilt the other way, his arms do, do just, they just don't tilt that way, so his head locks right there. But he can look to the side very puzzled and confused, obviously he can open his mouth to insert the Judenshi. Um, back here nothing moves because it's just the tail system that comes out and stuff. On the other side he's just kind of blank and looking Gabutira E. The switch is right here, so you can turn it off. Turn it on and he gets a chompy noise. So you've got that going on. Here's uh, Stegochi being a stegosaurus because that's what he does. And you got a little handle here for the sword portion of it, the Judenken. And uh, he's got movable legs obviously because of transformation. The head can open up because that's where the Judenshi is inserted. Just like that. Looks very weird in the end product but uh, it's something. And so when you insert the Judenshi, the little spiker will pop up here. Now we'll take a look at that. And then last but not least, Doriketa. Uh, Dricera, the pink Triceratops. I love this thing. Pink Triceratops Nation for the win. Um, love it. It's, just, it's so incredibly pink that it's fascinating. I really like it. Uh, so same features up there. This will flip around for transformation. Mouth opens up to put in the Judenshi. And the legs move. So nothing too wild and crazy. When you insert the Judenshi, this will um, pop out like that. So very cool. I love this one. And I really hope they get to the vinyl of her because I want it really bad. But anyway, let's take a quick look at the Judenshi. So we're pretty familiar with this, uh, the Gabutira Judenshi number one. Uh, this is slightly different than the one you get in the Gabu Revolver. Uh, it looks pretty much the same from the front. But when you flip it over on the back... Um, the one that comes with uh, Kyoryujin doesn't have any sort of printing up here, while the one that comes with the Gabu Revolver has some uh, copyright information up there. That is really the only difference between these. Everything else is pretty much the same. I noticed a slight color differentiation in mine, but not big enough to particularly notice unless you're a huge color nerd. And then of course, obviously, you got the little flippy gimmick. Glow in the dark and glittery sticker. Here's the Stigochi uh, Judenshi number three. Very cool. And then you have Stigachi over there. And Dodikera. I like saying uh, Dodikera in Japanese because it's actually a little bit easier to say than Tricera. But pink Triceratops for the win. And Dreisera. 
guess wouldn't it be like Drissera because it's drill? Maybe something like that. I don't know. But uh, like I said, all these can be read in Gabutira, and we'll take a look at that during the transformation steps. For now, let's take a look at the Gabu Revolver. Because we have two all new Judenshi to use in this. So, what I'm going to do is put in Stikochi and Dodikera, and then switch them up so you'll hear both the calm and uh, loud attack phrases for each of these. Really cool. So now that we got that out of the way, on to the gimmicks. So each of the Juden Ryu have a gimmick to where you, when you insert the Judenshi, something will happen to the toy. Uh, Gabu Tears is uh, very simple. Uh, as stated, we do have it on right now. So he'll announce whatever Judenshi you insert. We'll take a look at that in a second. But when you press his head down, bam, his little feathery spiky hair bits. Uh, pop up. So that's his little gimmick. If we take Stagochi, open up him, push the uh, Judenshi in, it'll lock right here for when you're inserting it into the arm. Press down this little button on his belly and that'll lock all the way in. You can close it up and like I said this will push forward. So this is Stagochi in his battle mode. And then with Dressira Again, open it up all the way, all the way, pop that in, hold the button down, lock all the way in, there we go, and like I said, the tail will pop open. So now they're both all ready to go with their uh, battle modes. So that's all there really is to it in their dino modes, so let's go ahead and start the combination. What we're going to do first is get Gabutira all pretty much prepped and ready to go. So this involves taking off this tailpiece, splitting it open, popping the helmet off, and this piece does just sit on the back of Kyoryujin, it doesn't do anything spectacular, but given the fact that this does have this moving bit right here, it could easily be implemented into a shield or something, uh, we might see this have a bigger role in later combinations. So just set that aside for now, set that over here. And here's the helmet, so we're just going to go ahead and do that right now while it's out. Flip his little head up and plop the helmet in. Fold these in and just kind of lift these up. These will lock right there. Press these two little gray buttons right here. Slide out the legs. Fold them down. Flip that entire section around. Uh, leave those as they are. Spread his legs. Uh, it doesn't really matter how far you spread them. You could have them standing pretty straight. A little bit and wide. We'll just keep a wide stance for now. These will fold open just to reveal some leg design. And that is really about it. You just swing him around and attach that back piece. Just like that. And voila. Since nothing really goes down here whatsoever, I'll just show off the feet real quick and then raise the camera since everything else happens above. Bam. Gyoryujin. Alright, so now on to the other Judenshi. Or Judenri, rather. Uh, just fold them up just like that. This piece will just pop right off. This will become a sword and or shield-esque thing later. So obviously we got a hand right here with Dreisira. Flip that around and flip her pieces and then she's all set over here. So we're going to open up their compartments, pop that open and again it'll lock in place but we're going to need to take the Judenshi out. So pull that out. Same thing with Stagochi. 
pop it out. So basically what this does is all of the, there's a pin system in there. If we can maybe get the light in and kind of see it in the corner there. So this is basically the Gabu revolver and it just reads what Judenshi you put in there. It can remember up to three. Uh, at least from what I've found so far by playing around with it, it can read up to three at a time and it'll just erase the last one you did. So what you're supposed to do to make the Kyoryujin combination is put in Stigochi, Tricera, and then Gabutira. It reads the first two you've inserted, or at least the first two in this memory bank, as the right arm and the left arm. And then this is the body, so obviously it's going to be Gabutira. You can stick anything in there. You could put Topurando in there, uh, Ovrapu, and it won't really matter because what matters is those first two you inserted are going to be the arm uh, pieces. If you look inside here, uh, which I don't think we can get the light in there really all that well, it's just a singular button. There isn't a reader in there, so it doesn't matter which Judenshi you insert in there, it will read whatever ones you inserted into Gabutir's mouth. And again, we'll take a look at that into the uh, the sounds portion of the review afterwards. So if you want to stick around for that, uh, we will be experimenting around. So fun times are had. So let's go ahead and do this appropriately. Now we take that, pop it in. I'm not really sure which direction those are supposed to go. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so that can stay put in there. And then you hit the button to begin the transformation. And you just insert it up there. It'll hit the button. And something messed up, and it didn't work on Dory Kara. Then press the button again. So this is the main form of Kyoryujin featuring Stigochi and Drysira as the arms. Kyobotira is obviously always going to be the body because look at it. And it's what it is, what it is. Uh, yeah, so basically what happened the first time where it screwed up is I think what happened is it hit the button and then released it and then hit it again because I was inserting it kind of sloppy. Um, and basically when that happens, it registers as Drysira and then pops out and then pops back in and it doesn't know what to read because it already went through its three and then it gets confused. So I don't know why I can't just keep it in the memory, but toys and stuff. So yeah, so here we are. Um, the weapon itself is just the rest of Stigochi just opens up here to make the sword. Then it just pops right into his hand. This does move, so I think this will be used in other combinations later. Since it doesn't really have a reason to move right now. And it's actually kind of hard to get in his hand, or I'm just dumb. That's a possibility of both, actually. There we go, so he can go and stab you and stuff. So, uh, Not very much of an impressive sword, but it is a sword nonetheless. Um, if you don't like him holding the sword, if you think it's just kind of stupid... Keep it on the side, or one thing that you can do that I generally do when storing him is just attach it to Stigochi again. And he's got kind of like a, a club sort of thing going on. So, a uh, very cool. Uh, granted, it is the typical Sentai blockiness. You have rotation right here, a little bobblehead gimmick going on because it's a transformation. And then up here, you just got this sort of motion going on. And then feet-wise, you pretty much have nothing. You've got a little bit of movement uh, in the legs, and that's about it. Like that just happened, if you tilt it too far back, it'll pop off the yellow pieces. So, no running or anything 
crazy like that. Uh, and that's really all this guy uh, does for now. Uh, there is a final attack, Valmula, Mucho kind of thing going on. Um, basically what happens is you insert a Jujenshi up in here, and then it'll make the final attack sound. Uh, Stigoji and Drysira do make sounds, but since they're being used as the arms, it's kind of hard to get in there. Uh, but, but we will take a look at those in a second after we take out Gabutira and reinsert it. That's the button. So obviously it says the kaboom and does like a firing sound. So now let's uh, switch out the batteries in this and check out Stagochi and Dreyseras. Alright, so now that we recovered these, let's go ahead and do this. And do Stagochi's final attack. And dry serious. Yay. Uh, so yeah, those are the final attacks, and when there is no battery inserted you'll get that, and in uh, Gabutira mode, it'll just make a T-Rex roar. Um, so yeah, uh, I love this guy a lot. He is kind of kooky looking, a pink arm, blue arm, red body. It is kind of weird, particularly how pink Dreyseri is, but I love it. Um, a lot of people are complaining or just noting that he is very cartoony looking, and while that's true, Kyoryuja is a very light-hearted show. Um, I think it has potential to have some serious plot lines. Um, I mean, in the second episode, we had the whole thing with Nobuhiro, uh, Kyoryuja, and his family and stuff. So I think it has a lot of potential to have a very story-driven atmosphere in a kind of kooky setting. And I think that's great. I love just how Gabutira looks. I think he's, he's huge, for one thing, and very cool. So, I, I just really like the way this ends up looking overall. Um, not a huge fan of Parasagon or Zaktor uh, just yet. I think the mold is kind of weird looking. And I just really like the pink Triceratops and the blue Stegosaurus on here. So, uh, I, I think it's great. You do get two more uh, Judenshi that you wouldn't get otherwise, since you have Gabutira already if you have the Revolver. Um, and to top it off, even if you don't get the revolver, if you're only a robot collector, this still has um, playability with all of the Judenshi that you get. So even if you don't get the revolver or the sword, you can still get the Judenshi set 1 or 2 and have a bunch of different things you could do with this just by mix and matching the Judenshi. And I think that's what makes this line such a winner. The fact that you have the Judenshi that work in the roleplay toys on top of the mecha is something that's very cool and makes it really worthwhile, I think, to collect everything in the line. And so I think that is uh, really neat and what makes this gimmick actually work quite a bit for this line. So um, if you're on the fence about this guy, he is big. His box is huge. As you've seen from the pictures, it takes up my entire review station. That's how long it is because of the way they pack this. So yeah. Uh, very big, uh, EMS shipping from Ami Ami was, uh, like 5,500 or so. I think, uh, EMS from HLJ was roughly 4,000-ish, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but the prices end up working about the same from them. Uh, so basically buy wherever you can. He's definitely worth it. I would have paid retail price for it, absolutely. Um, really love it, and I do recommend it to all fans of the show. Granted, we're only three episodes in, but they've been three really good episodes. So, uh, I'll definitely give it that. Very cool. And we'll take a look at, uh, Parasagon and Zaktor soon. So, um, yeah, uh, take care and have a great one if you're leaving. If not, let's go ahead and take a look at the sounds of this. So basically, since we're pretty much done with these, let's go ahead and put them back in Stigochi and Dreyseras. Okay, so we have all of these Judenshi to use, and a lot of additional 
uh, tacks. So let's just go ahead and go through these uh, kind of one by one. Start with 14 because that is the next one on the list. Next up we have Alamaris. Next up we have Beyond Small. I love these sounds. Uh, Omirapu, which is the best bannery in the history of the world. <laughs> yes, folks, he just farted. Love it. Because I am a child. Um, Igaramadon. That's basically a Judenshi that allows the Gabba Revolver to rape people. That's a thing. Uh, Tuperanda. And there we go. And like I said before, there is uh, mix and match combinations in terms of building Killer Eugen. Obviously, the core isn't going to change because these aren't even supposed to work like this, but that's how the toy functions. So if we kind of pop these guys out enough to where they don't hit the buttons um, and go in with these, we're going to go ahead and just do them in sets of two since we have six uh, Judenshi to, to work with here. Stymero. with Alamaris. And then Gabutira just to wrap everything up. I forgot it does the sound too. Next two, we have Beyonsimo and Ovirapu. And Gabutira to wrap it up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, and uh, Igranodon and Tuperanda. Forgot I kind of need to unhook them first.
and Gabuteria to wrap it up. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one you use here. I just use Gabuteria for ease of use. And the next one. Yay. Uh, and then another thing I do want to point out is that um, Gabutira actually works for these arm pieces too. So if we just insert Gabutira three times. So Gabatero works as well as inserting the same one. Uh, because of that, I can do the ultimate in stinky combinations with this guy. Just to show that you don't need to use Gabuteria as the last one. Kyoryujin Poo Poo. Heck yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I'll just leave it at uh, that for now. Uh, obviously, I tried making some combinations, but nothing's really going to work outside the ones we know of. Western being Parasagon and Zakutor, Macho being uh, Ankidon and Dreisira, and then Kung Fu being uh, Ankidon and Bunpachi. Um, obviously, we might have a couple more with, uh, with the upcoming mechas that might come out in the third and fourth quarter. So we'll see what happens, but uh, as of right now, there isn't any new combinations besides doing fun things like Kyoryujin Poo Poo and uh, various other things like that. So like I said in the review, I love the fact that the Judenshi make these additional sounds in the toy. It adds a full layer of playability to this if you've been collecting the Judenshi as well. So um, it just, it, there's so much to be had with just this one group of toys that without even getting Zaktor and Parasagon, as long as you have the Judenshis, you can do so much with these uh, that you wouldn't be able to do with ordinary mecha lines. So as cartoony as this looks, as basic as it is, the playability with this is absolutely incredible. And just because of that, I have to recommend it to everyone. It's absolutely fantastic. I've been playing with these stupid banneries in the dinosaur for like three days now, and I'm still not bored. I love it. I'm a kid at heart. Um, if if your kid is into Sentai and stuff, this is an absolutely great pickup. Um, even if you're just into Sentai, absolutely fantastic pickup. Um, I, Outside of the fact that it's continuing the Sentai brickishness, there really isn't any flaws to this. Just absolutely incredible. And I love the way that they engineered all the sounds, all the Jidenshi, and all the playability in this. Absolutely fantastic. Bravo, Bandai. Um, so you can check out shirukenshinobi.com for this updates on my reviews and hauls, and of course check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the greatest way possible. You can pick up Kyoryujin, the uh, Judenryu series, uh, the Judenshis, anything Kyoryujin at cstoysjapan.com. So uh, take care and have a great one. Bye. Poo!